I built this huge pole barn, fully equipped with a run barn yard for cows and sheep in my backyard. Now to get to this point, first we had to come up with the design. Then we hired the guys to come build the pole barn. Then it was the concrete. Then it was configuring the setup. That actually worked very nice. Then it was getting wood chips in here. Then it was setting up the gates in the front. And finally, it was getting hay. Holy smokes. What? How many hay bales do you got on there? Are they tied? Oh, they're tied. And then the day of today, we set up our fence and went to get the cows and sheep over here. We've got alfalfa, Jonah's got a staff. He'll herd them, I'll try to lead them. They mosey, we'll get them on over there. And we're leading them, they're following me really good. I got one, let's see if they'll all follow me. Bob, you gotta watch oh, I'm coming, he's chill, stud muffins chill. easier than I thought. And then all of a sudden, Flossie just started feeling frisky. Where's Flossie going? Right here, honey. I got your alfalfa right here. And ran all over the place. They're getting crazy. Why is she getting antsy? Hey, right here. Hey, come on. We did manage to get them all in. Here, look. Not too much, Shauna. Here. And then Flossy just charged right out. Oh, oh! What in the world? And Jonah finally managed to get her back in, herding her around the house, and back down in here, we were able to get everybody back in. This way, honey, this way. This way, there you go. There you go. Okay, Flossy found the water. This is good. Hey, this is a brand new habit to them. They're gonna be a little crazy at first, but then they're just gonna be old hat. Why did I do this? I first heard about Joel Salatin doing this for his cows during the winter, giving him a rest. So I'm looking forward to a rest, not having to move the cows every day, but more importantly, capturing their holy cow because what happens in the winter is if they poop on the ground yes that's eventually organic matter but it doesn't break down right then and it doesn't sink into the ground there's the, the microbial activity in the ground doesn't eat it and consume it and improve the ground right then what happens is it stays on top of the ground and rain and sun and snow end up what you call leaching that out and you don't capture that rich manure or urine. And this is one way to do it, a deep bedding system. Capture that stuff in like wood chips and that preserves it through the winter. And then in the spring, we bring pigs in to till and further turn that wood chips in with that manure and then we spread it on the weaker parts of our pasture. I mean, that's all cool and stuff. But in farming, when you have to do chores every single day, it's sometimes good to have a rest. My bedroom is right there, so it will be really good for a season just to become downstairs through the house, come out and do chores, rain or shine, don't even have to get wet or snow, and cut our chore time significantly. This will prevent burnout this will give us a much needed rest for the season. The plan here is Lily will go into the trailer. We have an escape door and hopefully everybody will go in. Lily, put down the feeder. We didn't bring the feeder. Oh, there's a feeding tent right there. We tried to get them in with the open fence. They didn't quite work because they could escape too easy and go off to the sides. The camera wasn't rolling. I forgot to push the camera to record. But anyway, you make this funnel 
where it's wide up here so it's easy to get them in and then it gets more narrow and narrow and there's they don't feel like there's a way to escape us and we Josiah and I gently gave them pressure and they walked right in we shut the door dang I wish we would have captured that well, we're gonna try what you call the flirt we're gonna put the herd and the flock together Rebecca's a hair concerned about the flirt what 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 what's what do you think is gonna happen baby let's hear it I know Flossie and the, the ram have had some moments but I think they'll sort it out I don't think they'll constantly be fighting is it Flossie? I think they'll be I think the ram will be like okay you got me yeah well, but you know at night we're gonna separate them we've we're gonna never had the ram and stud together oh we haven't we have They've gotten out and gotten together. Okay, I don't know. I, I, um, I, I will admit, okay. I don't 100% I don't know. Yeah, all right. I'm not saying that I have I don't either. Or maybe we kind of want to see you stud out here, but that'd be the only thing is if they got in a couple inside a stall and somebody in, got In pinned. some ways, I kind of wanted to put all of them in their stalls, respective stalls. Yeah. I didn't want to do because they were excited because I was afraid that Phyllis might get horned. Okay. The excitement. Well, because they don't know what they're going to do tonight. It's going to no, be a they mess. Don't. They don't. That's they what don't. I was saying. Well, I think what we'll do. I know that this. I know when you let them out. I was watching from the window, and it was insane. They were like running in circles and being kind of crazy. All right. So what I was going to do for tonight was the, the the cows are easier to herd than the sheep. So I would herd if there's any sheep in their pen. I'm going to herd the sheep out. <laughs> and then we're going to move the cows in. The cows are just And then we're going to get the calves out, and then we're going to move everybody in there. Yeah. Look at that. See this manure? Out here, I'm going to take that manure every day and put it on their deep bedding. Yeah. Just otherwise, it's going to get, I think it would get gross out here. All right, what we're going to do is just shut stud in. We really don't know what him and the ram will do. And if they have room, I'm not too worried about it because somebody has room to submit. It's when they don't have room to submit, and maybe they get pinned against the wall. It's gonna be dangerous. Easy. Are we gonna let Stud out? Yeah. Okay, they seem largely uninterested in each other. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. You probably won't even come out. Oh, here he comes. Okay, watch out. Hey, Lily. Oh, Lily, stop. He's just going for the alfalfa. <laughs> he could care. He could care less about those sheep. After months of hard work, it's finally happened. And I feel a real big sense of accomplishment. I feel like this is something really big. I look forward to the nutrients we're gonna preserve from this, the way we're gonna be able. See, we only have a limited amount of, of acreage and for grazing, so we really need to get more out of what we have to sustain our two cows and our bull and our steers that's a lot and one way to do that is to make the land we already have so much better and this will go a long way in doing that because the loads of compost will get out there one of those cows 50 pounds of manure a day mixed with wood chips that's going to be a lot of material going back on our port on our poorest parts of our pasture in the spring how does it feel to you, you know, after we finish? Feels good. You know, and you won't have to go through all this again, you know. Yeah. We'll just put them in there in this, I mean, put down the wood chips and put them in there in the next fall, next yeah. winter. Yeah. yeah, right, you know? It won't be this much labor every time. We'll just get the hay and uh, in the spring we'll put out the, the compost and in the winter we'll bring in more wood chips. But you know what? We're, we're probably not going to rest. We're just going to get more done. <laughs>